Puppet Master includes a tool that you can use to create ragdolls for biped characters. It's called Biped Ragdoll Creator, obviously. So uh, to use that, first let's add a character to the scene and add the Biped Ragdoll Creator component. But the first thing you see here are the references to the biped bones. If this is a humanoid, then those will be filled in automatically. If it's not, then you will have to do some uh, manual work. But anyway, once you have that, you can just click on create the ragdoll. And uh, once you do that, it goes into this uh, live editing mode. So you can just uh, click on those buttons here to uh, toggle if you need uh, spine uh, bone or the chest bone or hands or feet included in the ragdoll. You can uh, choose between uh, configurable and character joints. If you plan to use it with Puppet Master, then uh, Please choose configurable joints because that's what uh, Puppet Master requires. Then you can uh, adjust the joint range that makes the joint limits looser or, or tighter. Then we, we have uh, colliders. A collider length overlap, you can use it to make the colliders uh, a little bit longer or shorter. Then you can uh, also select between uh, box or capsule colliders for each body part. Now once you are uh, finished with those uh, few little settings here, uh, then you can uh, click on this button here, start editing manually. So once you do that, uh, this uh, Piped Ragdoll Creator will be destroyed and uh, Ragdoll Editor will be attached onto this game object. And that will uh, very easily allow you to make uh, those fine-tuning uh, adjustments to that ragdoll colliders. And you see here we have symmetry enabled for uh, everything you do. You can uh, use it to convert uh, colliders to box colliders or capsule colliders or you can make the head to a, head a sphere collider. and uh, you can also very easily flip uh, the direction of the colliders if they are wrong. Now also what you sh should do here is uh, switch uh, edit mode to joints. Then you can click on each joint and you can uh, just uh, make sure that the joint limits are uh, set up properly. So again you can edit them with uh, full symmetry support. You can switch uh, those, you can switch between yellow and green. Basically that will uh, switch the axis and the secondary axis of the joint. And once you are done with it, then you can just get rid of it. And that's it. Basically you have a nice looking ragdoll here that you can use immediately. Now just to show you how it works on different characters, I have a scene set up here that uh, has about 20 characters that I have found from um, all over the place. These pilot characters from the boot camp, this uh, dummy you have already seen. Viking is from uh, the Photon Viking demo. This one is, uh, I think, from Turbo Squid. And some others and some those ones I have created myself. So just all kinds of characters, really small ones, uh, really uh, unsymmetric ones. So just let me just add uh, Biped Ragdoll Creator to uh, each one of them. Create Ragdoll. This looks nice. Go on to this one. Create the ragdoll, also not bad. This Unity character here, I can uh, also make a ragdoll. This one doesn't have uh, any ch chest or spine bones. No, actually, I think, yes, he has a spine bone. So uh, that also works. Dummy, you have already seen. The dwarf guy here is really small, just try with this one. And uh, 
basically just uh, need to make some uh, colliders a little bit thicker just move the head a little bit and make the feet a little bit bigger This one is also Mixamo character. Uh, this is Lerps. You see that uh, sometimes those uh, character bones they are not uh, oriented the same way as the uh, mesh looks. If you go down to this uh, wood bone here, select game object, you see that. Uh, its local rotation is like that and you, you know you can't rotate any colliders but uh, this is not a problem actually Puppet Master supports uh, compound colliders so you can add uh, another game object to that foot bone and uh, attach the collider to it instead or actually, actually you can uh, once you ha have made it the puppet let's do it real quick just Ractal Editor, remove Add, Puppet Master. Set up Puppet Master, so now we have... Uh, where is this Lerps? So here uh, we have the Puppet Master uh, Dual Rig. This is the character. And here is the Puppet Master, so the Ractal is actually separate from uh, the rest of the character. Which is good for a number of reasons, but... Uh, for example here we can just go and we can rotate the ankle bone to match the mesh and actually Puppet Master can handle that uh, it only needs the, the ractal, the rigid body positions to match with the, the targets of the animated character enough with that, so the next one was Pilot, this is also easy Again, the same problem with uh, feet here that you can fix. Player, this is from the Angry Bots game. Again, more or less nice looking Raptor. This one here is a little bit... Uh, has weird proportions, so let's try this one. Just uh, let me just uh, move the head glider a little bit. Let's take a look at the joints real quick, so just to see if they are okay. Looks good enough. So this is a puppy. Robot Kyle here, that is uh, a little bit broken crack character. You see that this uh, hand bone here is not uh, aligned to, with the arm. There's no way to really fix that, but um, just need to fix the character. Also here uh, it has the same problem with the uh, leg bones, because the leg bones they don't uh, align with the um, mesh so here I have to go to the Ractal Editor and see how my joint limits uh, you see that Piped Ractal Creator has uh, failed to uh, apply correct joint limits just because uh, this actually this uh, leg is bent like this not, not, it's not bent forward, it's bent on uh, sideways but you can just click on uh, you can switch this uh, green axis and the yellow axis by clicking on switch yellow and green. And you see that this uh, other leg became uh, inverted. So just uh, disable symmetry and go to this one and click on invert yellow. Once you re enable symmetry, you can just continue editing this ractal.
And the rest of the characters are more or less uh, stun Let me see just this uh, Teddy character. Also, we just need to uh, make those colliders in the legs a little bit uh, thicker and move the head. This one is really weird looking unsymmetric character, so add Piped Ragdoll Creator. And you got more or less uh, okay results. You can just, uh, no use of symmetry here with this one. So as you see, it's quite uh, easy to set up all kinds of characters with the biped ragdoll creator. Now, what about uh, other characters, not bipeds? Actually, let me try using it on uh, dog. So I have dog here somewhere. At biped ragdoll creator. Now you see that uh, it didn't fill any phone references, that's not a humanoid character, so it's going to take a little bit of manual work, but it should be done quite soon. It's fine. Fortunately, this uh, dog has bones that are named uh, as if it were a uh, human. So once we have all of them, we can click on create a ragdoll. And you see that it <laughs> almost uh, works. Just uh, some weird stuff going on with those... Uh, leg bones here, maybe I have to uh, use those bones instead. So click on start editing manually. This uh, ragdoll editor component you can use on any character rig. It doesn't need to be a biped, it can be just uh, a single collider or anything. So let me just uh, adjust those colliders here a little bit. I can convert those uh, foot colliders to capsules. And basically, I have uh, ragdolled this uh, Doberman here. Actually, we can just go try uh, to make it a Puppet Master rig. So just add Puppet Master, click on Set up Puppet Master. And uh, let me add a ground collider here. So once we run that and uh, unbin that puppet, and you see that Puppet Master is making that uh, dog actually stand because this dog doesn't have any animation, so Puppet Master is just uh, trying to maintain this pose. It's enough to keep this uh, Doberman from falling over because it has 
for legs. Actually, if I just uh, make the muscles a little bit weaker, then you see that the dog is not able to stand up anymore. And that's it with this tutorial. Thanks for watching. See you next time.